Time for Power Profile, sponsored by Salus Marineware. Words like innovative, stylish, and luxurious are words rarely associated with pontoon boats. But for Harris Float Boat, they're benchmarks that they set out for all of their models. This week on Power Profile, we're going to look at the new for 2011 Solstice 230, a 23 foot pontoon with an interior layout you have to see to believe. With an extensive lineup of 22 models ranging from 18 to over 28 feet, Paris Float Boat puts over 50 years of experience into every boat they build. And at 24 feet 8 inches, the 230 is the smallest of three new Solstice members to the Harris family and is a refreshing blend of classic pontoon styling with modern touches and flowing lines. I see a lot of pontoons a year and I find myself using the term standard pontoon layout way too often, but I tell you there was nothing standard about this layout. This was the optional two-piece bow group layout with the Shea Lounge to starboard and two Lux seats to port. The result of which is a first-class bow layout that is versatile, functional, and meets Harris's goal of having an open, roomy floor plan that keeps everyone comfortable. And I mean comfortable. The raised helm stand is contemporary, quaint, and very inviting. The rounded instrument panel is clean and simple, and the mix of toggle switches, cup holders, stereo options, and glove compartments are well-balanced and not at all cluttered. Now here to aft is where the real magic happens. This is Harris's all new Transformer lounger and it starts off as your typical Shea lounge. Then, these side walls disappear, armrest appears, and you have your own personal recliner. But it gets better. You need something from under my seat while well, I'm not getting up. Wow. These storage drawers keep both of us happy. In choosing available layout options for the Solstice models, Harris conducted extensive voice of the customer surveys to make sure they got what they wanted. It's that kind of customer dedication and forward thinking that has kept Harris a leader in the pontoon game for so long. The 230 also has an extended rear deck with 18 inches of walking room, swim ladder, and ski tow bar with safety bars. Now powering the Solstice is Mercury's 115 horsepower 4-stroke. Now personally I'm a sucker for speedy pontoon so I, I would have liked to see it with the Max 150 but the 115 should give us some comfortable speeds. And sure enough it did. The 0 to 15 acceleration was a modest 4.38 seconds and the comfortable mid-range was around 20 miles per hour at 5,000 RPM. And it was evident that the 115 was a great choice for the 230 Solstice. It was quiet and emissions free and still had solid performance. You're not going to get white knuckle performance out of this package, but you are going to be able to take someone tubing or wakeboarding. You won't be able to turn on a dime, but you will have increased maneuverability. And all in all, the Solstice just felt like a strong, stable, and well-built boat. There weren't any rattles or vibrations, and you could really feel the quality and care that goes into each Harris float boat pontoon. You know, this was my first Harris float boat review, and I can honestly say I was blown away by the new Solstice 230. On the water, it handled itself with confidence, and the interior layout well, it was just pure magic.